we talked about it last year when when it happened. Uh, <laughs> there was a prominent attorney in town, plaintiff's lawyer, Tony Busby, who represented uh, Governor Perry and um, got perhaps a, a, a diversion intervention deal that was maybe outside the normal of what, what, was nor what was done in the office. But he did it. They offered it, got the case dismissed, right. completed, you know, whatever agreement there was, and... Um, you know, got an expedited expunction. Uh, at the time, you know, obviously, it's, it looked to us like, you know, well, hey, somebody's getting a good, a better deal than most people. But hey, you know what? That happens. And good lawyering is, is part of that. Some people were able to get things through. Some will say that there was a crooked deal. Uh, there's been no proof of that. Uh, the reality is there's been zero proof of any kind of crooked deal or anything like that. There's a lot of rumor, speculation in any window, but the fact is nobody has come up with a single shred of proof uh, of any kind of, of crookedness. Um, I, I have a problem with this. I mean, the case was expunged. The, the, the order was signed. And now the DA's office wants to go and reopen an expunged case. And... and Look, we may not all like the fact that somebody got a deal that other people couldn't get. I get that. I get that, okay? But look, I've gotten deals for clients that other people might not normally get. Is it because of me? I can't say that. Is it because of who my client was? Maybe. Is it because of the packet that we put together? Maybe. There's a lot of different factors that go into right. it, you know? And I can sit here and tell you, that, yeah, because maybe I got a deal that wasn't in the norm, so to speak, but it wasn't because I bribed anybody mm -mm. or paid right. anybody off right. or did anything underhanded to get it. No. And there's been no proof of that in this case. Right, unless there was proof of it. I mean, unless there was some proof that, again, almost like when an appellate process, unless there's some new Correct. evidence that there was proof that something happened, and, and, it's closed. Right, it's closed. And, and he filed the expunction like he was lawfully out to do. There was an agreed order signed by the, the district, district court judge. Office. And well, by the, by the by DA's the office. Court, and, yeah. yeah, and the judge, and the district court judge, I mean district um, civil court judge. And, and, and the real problem too here is now, we're all talking about it. it. Brings it up again. It brings it up again. The Chronicle's talking about it. The Houston Press is talking about it. All the major news stations around town are talking about it. So here's somebody who went through the system no matter what your personal feelings about him are, okay? He went through the system, he did what was asked, his case got dismissed, he filed for an expunction, the DA's office did not object. Right. And there was an agreed order submitted. But the it, issue is, it was a different DA's office. That's the issue. I, I but that's what I'm that. saying. I mean, yeah. you have to clarify for whoever our viewers no. are. It was a different DA, it was a different sure. I mean. You've got one DA's office who did one thing, and then you've got, but I mean, I'm just but, saying. But that that brings up a different. That brings up That's a whole the other, other issue. issue because right. does, does that subject all of us who got a deal under the, no, the old administration to have all of our cases reviewed? No, it shouldn't. You know? and that's really that's the issue. 